name's Chase, so I've had a go at uh, what a BADA technician does, and now we're going to head out to sea and I'll have a look at what a decan does. Deckhands are responsible for catching the fish on a much larger scale than Chase is probably used to. Showing him the ropes will be first mate Peter Goldsworthy, but everyone just calls him Goldie. How are you doing, Chase? I'm Goldie, the Hello. first mate on the Amatel Enterprise. Part of your job in, in learning to be a is to let the lines go on the boat when we leave the wharf here. So if you wander down the stairs and see the second mate there, and you can just give him a hand to pull the lines up. Yep. They're away, and there isn't much time to say goodbye to dry land because Chase is off to meet Captain Lee Harding. How you going, Chase? Welcome aboard. Thank you. Before being taught the safety procedures, including how to wear the survival suit. Generally, it's a bit of an act to get into these chases. You can see it's a one-man, one-piece suit. It's easier if you sit on the ground and get your feet into it. Safety is a big factor in it all the time. From the minute you go out on the deck, you know, you've got safety boots, hard hats, life jackets all the time. It's common sense and um, watch what you're doing. Don't rush in. You're starting to cook in the air. <laughs> Make it out. We're done. After making sure Chase knows where the lifeboats are, Goldie introduces him to the gear they'll be using. This is the main warp here, Chase. Uh, this is basically the fishing line to our trawl net. It's, it's similar to fishing in, in a lot of respects. At the main warp on each drum, it's 28 mil wire rope. So it's, it's pretty heavy duty, six strand. There's 2,500 metres of warp on each drum. So we can fish down to sort of 1,200 metres. Every trip we go to sea, we re-splice the walks, so that's, that's going to be part of your job. It's hard work, it's pretty physical. Hard or not, Chase is going to give it a go. Don't break the spike. <laughs> the splicing of the wire on board, it isn't an easy job, it's really physical. And depending on the weather, you can be running around all over the place um, working a marlin spike. An ice splice is used to create a loop for attaching the trawl and it has to be redone twice a trip. It's a skill that's needed and um, I think it'll always be needed. So how would you find that Chase? Uh, easy, easy or harder than you expected? No, nah, it's probably harder than I thought. It takes, yeah. a, bit of, it takes a bit of effort, yeah. Yeah, no, oh, that's, that's good to see. You're a bit of a natural actually, you're picking, it, picking that up really good. It's good. You're on your way. The Enterprise has to steam for 18 hours to get to the fishing ground. So Chase knocks off for the night. On the menu for dinner is beef schnitzel, chicken chow mein and hot dogs, as well as a range of salads and vegetables. Crew can also watch movies in the lounge, but Chase is pretty tired and he needs his Z's. It's the next morning and Chase finds Goldie on the bridge. Morning Chase, how are you? Well, I'm good, thank you. We're just about to throw the net in the tide so the boys are down there all set to go. Yeah, let it go fellas. the winch from the bridge while the boys attach the trawl doors. The $150,000 net and gear must be handled carefully to keep it from twisting as it is set. It's called shooting the trawl. That's how much wire has gone out at the moment. The two five-ton metal doors sit on either side and spread the net out. The fish are caught in the cod end. It takes roughly three hours before the net is ready to be pulled up. So while they wait, the deckhands do maintenance tasks and Goldie teaches Chase how to mend the nets. This is just a basic hole again. What you'll do when you go out onto the deck, you, your first job will be just loading up needles, so pretty basic, keeping it tight all the time. There you go. You know, you need to have a, a fair bit of common sense. You obviously need to enjoy the job, or waste the time being there, so enjoying the job. And I think you need to have a bit of fun, you know, like we all have a giggle at sea or, you know, you've got to be serious sometimes, but, um, you know, we have a lot of fun out there too. You were picking up that pretty good. You've never done it before? No. Good. And he's been doing so well that Vic decides Chase can handle driving a crane on the fantail. G'day, Chase. We're going to uh, give you a shot at moving stuff around to stay safe on the crane. You have to always keep the gate closed, because if the gate's not closed, the boat's always rolling around and you can uh, fall out, which is uh, pretty sore. That means goes down, if someone does that to you. That means up. Right here, mate. 
all up to you. These big boys' toys. Mum's not here to look after you. Okay. Have a go. Real slow movement. Working the crane on board, it's reasonably basic, but it can be dangerous when you've um, got rough weather. Things are waving around. It's, it's, it takes a bit of doing. It's not exactly an easy job when you're at sea, that's for sure. Sweet airs, mate. Yes. Done a good job. The trawl has had enough time in the water, and Cam is getting ready to pull it up. This is the exciting part. We get to see whether we've got any fish. So, while we're hauling, if you'd like to stand over that side, now that'll be out of the way. Cool. All your pay is based basically around how much fish you catch. So at the end of the day, the fish that you bring home pays the bills. Uh, so the quicker you get that fish processed and down into the hole, the quicker the boats pull up and the quicker you get home. Well, that was pretty cool watching that. I've never really seen it happen before, so it's, it's new and it's good, yeah. The boys prepare the net for another shot and Chase is moving on to his next challenge. So, what did Goldie think of Chase's efforts? For a first time, I was impressed. He, he went really well. And yeah, just his attitude around the boat, uh, I, I reckon he'll go the distance without any problem, actually. There is a national certificate in seafood vessel operations, nautical skills level three. This qualification builds a pathway to becoming qualified as an advanced deckhand. Fishing deckhands need to be fit and strong with good mental and physical stamina. They need to get along with the people that they work with and should be self-disciplined, alert, and be able to work in dangerous environments. Deckhands may complete qualifications to become first mates or skippers. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.